Our next caller has phoned in with a question on logs, and our next caller I understand is Lungile. Lungile? Lungile, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you doing, my darling? I'm fine, and you, sir? Where are you phoning from? I'm phoning from Soweto. And what school do you go to? Um, I go to Rand Girls High. Just say that again? I go to Rand Girls High. Rand Girls High. Yes. Is that in Soweto? No, it's in Parktown. Oh, goodness gracious me. How long does it take you to get to school every morning? About 30 minutes. It's not a long distance. It's not so that you, long. So you can't get onto your bike and ride to school, eh? <laughs> No, I can't, sir. Okay, well, are you in grade 12? Yes, I am. And you're looking forward to the end of the year exams, eh? Yes, yes, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, great. Lungile, you've got a logs question for us. Yes, I do. Just for the viewers, logs falls under learning outcome one. And it's the assessment standard 12.1.2. Um, it's a good thing, actually, Lungile, and the viewers at home, that you ask your teachers to give you the assessment standards because the exams at the end of the year will be set directly according to those assessment standards. So you will know exactly what it is point by point that you must know. So ask your teachers to photocopy um, uh, the assessment standards for you. It will help you a lot. Right, Lungile, let's get on with it. What is okay. your question? Um, so my question is, um, log 48 is equal to x. Yes. And log 24 is equal to y. Yes. And they said, write the following in terms of x and y. I, I write the following? In terms of x and y. In terms of x and y. And the first one is log 2. So the first part, we've got to write log 2 in terms of x and y. Um, the second one is log 3. The second one is log 3. And the third one is log 5. And the third one is log 5. Great, Lungile. A very good question, actually. Well done. Thank, Thank you for you. calling in. Is this a homework question that you got? Yes, it, it, it's revision, actually. Uh, it is what? Revision. Revision. Yes. I think it's a lovely question. Tell your teacher I said, great, well done. Okay, so I will do that. Lungila, we're going to look at two rules to be able to answer to solve this question. And that is that log A over B is, do you know what it is? It's, oh my goodness, it's log A minus B, right? Log A minus? B. Log A minus? B. Log A minus? Log B. Log B. Well done, my girl. Thank you. And then the other rule we're going to use is that log A to the N is? Log A to the N is equal to, is it N? Oh, wait, log A to the N. What? I forgot my log rules. Yes, oh, what God. happens to this little exponent at the top here, my darling? Do you know? It becomes a subject. It doesn't become the subject. So it becomes, you take N. it to the front. Yes. So log oh, it's N log A. Aha, uh -huh. N log A. So you see these two laws? Yes. Those are the laws we're going to use to answer your question. Are you happy with the laws? Yes, I am. Right, so then the question is going to be much easier to do. Here we go. Log 48 is X. Please note that it's not 48, which is X but the log of 48 and log 27 is y. And having that information, we must now find log 2. Well, Lungile, 2 can be written as 48 divided by 24. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, I do, sir. Right. Now, I've just given you a law that says log A over B is log A minus log B. What are you going to do with log 48 over 24. You're going to write it as what? Uh, we're going to write it as log 48 minus log 24. Oh, you're a star. And what is log 48 according log, to the question? Um, it's x. And what is log 24 according to the question? Y. And there you go. 
x minus y. Easy, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Now we go to log 3. And with 3, you have to bear in mind that when you're answering questions where there's a part A, a part B, and a part C, you must remember that you have already worked out something for log 2. So we okay. know what log 2 is. Log 2 is x minus y. So now we've got three bits of information, Nguile. We've got that log 48 is x, that log 24 is y, and that log 2 is x minus y. So when we look at writing the number 3 in a different form, we look at writing the number 3 in terms of the 48, the 24, and the 2 using those numbers. Do you see how I wrote the 2 using the numbers that were given to me in the question? Right, so now when we write the 3, we don't have to use 48 and 24 only. We now have an expression for log 2 as well. So we think about the 2. Okay, so 3, let's have a look. 3 is uh, log 24 and 24 divided by how much will give us 3? Do you know? Log 24 divided by 6. No, that's 6. 24 divided by 8. No. 8, yes, well okay. done. Now again, Lungile, what is log 24 divided by 8? Um, it's equal to log 3. Yes. It's log, it's, log, it's log 24 minus log 8. Aha, uh -huh, good. You're now going to use the law. Log 24 minus log 8. And again, we know what log 24 is. Log yes. 24 is y, according to the question. Isn't yes. that so? Yes, so it is. So log 24 is y. And now we need to make a plan with log 8 because we don't know how much log 8 is. We've got yes. 48, we know log 48, we know log 24, and we know log 2. But the trick here is to realize that 8 is just 2 cubed. Yes, it is. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir. And so, as a result, what's going to happen is we now have, what are we going to do? We're going to put the 3 in front of the log. Oh, you're such a genius. You're going to take the 3 and put it in front of the log, and so we're going to have 3 log 2. But in the previous question, we worked out what log 2 was. What was it? Um, x minus y. So now, in this part, we can replace that log 2 with x minus y. And all we will do now is simplify by multiplying out the brackets. And our final answer is 4y minus 3x. Do you see? Yes, sir. So the trick was to use the log 2. And it was a little bit tricky because you had to convert that 8 to a 2 cubed, which became 3 log 2. Happy? Yes, yes, I am. Now let's look at the log 5. Log 5. And uh, now we've got a log 48, a log 24, a log 2, a log 3, and we need log 5. Lungile, with most of these questions where they say if log of 2 is A and log 3 is B, or in your case log 48 is X and log 24 is Y, that sort of question. Yes, the sir. 5, the trick with the 5 is to remember that it is 10 divided by 2. Okay, sir. And we're going to do the same thing here, log 10 minus log, log 2. You happy? Yes, sir. Now, do you know what log 10 is? Yes, it's 1. Well done. So 1 minus x minus y, which is 1 minus x plus y. Lungile, let's just explain to the viewers why log 10 is 1. At home, Lungile is very bright. She knows all her laws. But at home, you might remember from class that if your base and your number are the same, you're going to get 1. And in this case, there is no base. So it is base 10, okay. and log 10 base 10 is 1. How does that go, Lungile? Does that help you? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. That's a pleasure. Please don't hesitate to call again. Of course, sir. Thanks so much for the great question. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, that was Lungile with the great logs question, um, it testing the basic laws, but also uh, you needed a little bit of insight into seeing how you were going to express the numbers that were given.
Yeah. <laughs>